Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome to Blender for Noobs, and welcome back to the Omicron project where we're modeling this Omicron 3 spaceship. In part three here, what we're going to be doing, I was going to start refining the shape of the body a little bit, but I remember that we got to do our thrusters. So we're going to be working on getting those uh, at least roughed in. So in order to do that, we're going to go back to seven, which is our top view. And we're going to create a basic cube for our thrusters here. So shift A, go to mesh, choose cube. And I'm just going to bring it out to this area right here. And now you can kind of see where the uh, empty mirror comes into play. So if I do a control up arrow, and by the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and save your uh, file. And I'm just going to do a file save as, and I am on version three here. Save as blend file. Okay, so while you have your cube selected, go over to your modifiers, choose add modifier and choose mirror modifier and we are going to choose our empty mirror as the mirror object and you can see that it created one right on the other side which is exactly what we want don't have to really worry about clipping here because they're already separate so we can leave that alone control up arrow and I can choose in to get rid of that menu there okay so now I'm just going to kind of start forming this where it needs to be so S Y scale on the Y Go into Z wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. Do S Y again. Right about there. S X. Scale along the X. Okay, right about there. One front view. This need to come right down like this. I can see. And again, unfortunately, it's not completely lining up with the reference image, but we know that it, it's going to be kind of guesstimate right there in the general area. And then control three side view, uh, that's matching up. Top and bottom is not really matching up too well, unfortunately. But actually, since the length is matching up, we can do the uh, make sure we got the width correct. So go ahead and do a SZ scale on the Z. And right about there. So that's as close as we can get in object mode. So now we're going to start adding some edge loops to this. And in fact, let's go ahead and uh, select the body here. We'll choose H to hide that just so it'll be, you know, it won't be uh, bothering us. And choose our thruster cube here again. Tab into edit mode. And now we can start adding some edge loops. So control R. Add an edge loop. We've got an angle right there that we need to take care of. Control R, add an edge loop. We have one right there. Another edge loop, control R, right there. And there. And there. Got all kinds of angles on this. And there. One right there. Choose that bend right there. And control R. And looking at the bottom, we have an angle right there we need to take care of. And another one right there at the bottom. And one more right there on the top. And control R, another one at the bottom right there. Okay, that will take care of the, uh, the top and bottom. We also have the side to take care of, of course. And if we look here, we know this is going to take care of this point right here, but we still have, let's see, that's going to be okay right there. So these looks like, like they're taken care of. However, we don't have this flat surface right here. Let's see, can we bring that down? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so that's taken care of. Bring that up there. That'll take care of that. Take care of that. We might be all right here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do some of these and see what's going to happen. So B box like these, let's bring that down. Okay, so we have this, this bin right here that's not being taken care of. So I need some geometry there, control R. Actually, let me put this kind of in the middle. And another one for that bottom one. Put that in the middle too. Just want to get it away from this top piece so it doesn't get in our way. 
So B box select these, and I'm just going to G move these into position here. And B box select these, and I'll move this down and just try to get kind of a kind of where it doesn't stretch any verts too much, right around there. And B box select these, and let's see, move these down and in. So right about there, and I see I do actually, well, this, this verts, these or these verts will take care of that. Okay, so far so good. So let's continue on with these. Bring those down. Those down. And pretty much all these come down like so. I'm just working my way around here. Probably get away with um, bringing these in. Let's see, I don't want to really get in the way of those other ones. So let's just take all this. Do sort of the same thing we were doing on the front. Oops. Don't want that one. Just cr trying to create some equidistance between them until we get the, the front point where we need it there. Okay, same thing with these. Gonna take all these and just move them in. Deselect that one, move them in. Just deselect and keep moving them in. Actually, keep that one right there and then move these in. So right about there. And just move these over a little bit. These two, move them in. B box like this one, move it up to the corner where the corner should be, right about there. And pretty much take all of these. And they really should, this should be along the same level. So let's move this up a little bit, right about there. Okay. Grab these, maybe move it over a little bit. Move these up. Move these up. And move these up. Like so. So if we go to Z solid view, you can see that we're starting to end up with something that looks like our thrusters, but not quite yet. We need to do, go to one front view choose Z and this is where it's going to be a little bit of a problem because my reference image doesn't match but I'm, I'm just going to move it around a little bit more to make it easier so in go and find the front view and I'm just going to move it over and actually scale it down a little bit see if we can get it to fit in here so again, you notice I'm not changing my geometry. I'm just basically uh, changing the the reference view to fit here, or attempting to, I should say. Try to point seven zero right there, and these come down. So negative point sixty. Okay. Just so it'll make sense when we're moving around these verts on this. So really on this, we don't have to do too much. We just need to bring in these verts so that it matches the design. So actually the best way to do this, I'm gonna do B box select both these, S, X, and just, oops. Oh yeah, that's good. S, X, scale along until you get to kind of where it should be. <laughs> Doesn't match, but that's okay. S, X. Grab all these, bring these in. Make sure it's kind of going along the same angle if you can. SX. And just gonna grab all these here. SX, bring these in. And for some reason, oh, I'm bringing them in too far. That's the problem. SX, bring these back out. Oh, what exactly am I doing here? Not paying attention. SX, bring them in. Well, they need to be right there. Let's 
So this outside geometry that's screwing with my eyes. Try SX, bring those in. Okay, so far so good. Grab these bottom ones here, SX, move those in, and the very bottom, SX, and then move those all the way to the corner there. And what are we looking like here? Something looks weird. Well, one, one of the things that I need to do, let me go three side view. is we need to relax some of these angles that go along here. So I can just choose actually all of this, just kind of pull it up a little bit. And same thing with these, pull these down. Okay. And I can see kind of some problems where this is sticking out too much, but I want to get into that too much right now because we will be going and refining these as well. Okay, so control up arrow, come back to our view here. I can choose in to get rid of that menu. And um, let's Alt H, unhide everything, and select the body of the craft. I'm going to come up here, and instead of cube, I'm going to say body, name that body, and let's take this and name this thrusters. Okay, and that's well, the only two pieces we have right now. But I'm going to choose one front view and one more piece for right now. I'm going to choose Shift A, Mesh, Create a Cube. And I'm going to bring this over and this is going to be for these struts here. This is just going to be a placeholder just so we can kind of see the body, the uh, entire craft a little bit better for right now. We're going to actually get, going to be putting some cross members in there. but. Uh, we're just going to make this for right now. So while that's selected, um, add a modifier, add a mirror modifier, and choose our empty mirror. So we're mirrored there. Go into Z and tab into edit mode and make sure your reverts is selected here. And I'm just going to be box, box like this and choose G to move this right to that point. B box like this, G to move that right to that point. Same thing with this. Just want to kind of mimic the basic shape here. Okay. And actually, we need a top view as well to get that in place. So it's going to be right here. And SY, scale it down a little bit. And just basically trying to get it into place here. Now it's going over, over um, through the body of the ship because the bottom of the ship is actually. You can see that it's curved down a little bit. That's why it looks like that. So Z, we can see that it's starting to come together. Pretty cool. Okay, Control S Quick Save. And probably somewhere at this point, uh, what I usually do is I start to get some screenshots of my ship. So I can kind of see what the progress was as I go along. So uh, if you don't already have a camera in your scene, you can do a Shift A. Go down to camera, create a camera. While it's selected, come over to one of your other windows and do control zero. That will make the, um, the camera active in that window. So you can see exactly what the camera is seeing. So then you just need to like go to seven top view and you can position the camera wherever you need to. For example, I could uh, G move it around. A lot of times what I'll do is come to the camera view and just move it around there. A handy tip for this is if you do G, Z, Z, it will dolly the camera back along the lineup of the view, <laughs> the view that it's looking in, the perspective that it's looking in. So that's kind of nice to do. Um, so I want to rotate down a little bit and one front view. Let's see, just trying to get the view the way I want it. Something like that. And then make sure you have a light source to begin with. 
Um, I already have a sun in my scene. Of course, if you don't, just shift A and choose lamp. And you can choose a sun lamp or whatever you want there. And right now, I got it kind of pointing off that way. You can rotate it, make sure it's kind of pointing the way you need it to point. Go to the sun and the properties. And I have mine set to a strength of three. The color is white. Um, but that should work fine. You can also look in your world view. I have my background set up to kind of a blue color, which is fine for now. We'll be changing all this stuff around to get our, you know, our good render later on, but this is okay for now. Control S quick save. And now I can do an F12 to render. Oh, by the way, when you render, of course, go to your, go to your render settings, uh, check out your settings. I have mine set to 1280 by 720 as far as the resolution at 100%. Um, then you want to look under sampling. And my preview render, which is if I do a shift Z and get like this nice, you know, overall render. This is the same thing as going to shading and choose the rendered mode. And choose shift Z back to solid. And that that view is that preview view uses ten samples. That's very quick. That's kind of what you want usually for your uh, quick rendered view. But your F12 render, your main render, I've got mine bumped up to 300. That's all we really need for right now. So you want to make sure that's set. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty much all you need to set here. I use my tiles. I, I set my tiles at 128 by 128. That's kind of a nice even uh, way to render. At least that's what I found out. Um, and I got set to JPEG. So those are the main settings and of course I have Cycles Render turned on. And if you don't see the samples settings and all that then that is the reason you don't have Cycles turned on. Uh, if, if you're new to Cycles Rendering you also want to go to File, User Preferences, Go to your system tab up here and scroll down and look at the compute device. Uh, if you have the option, you want to use CUDA and you want to choose your graphics card here so it will use your graphics card processor to render from. It's a lot faster. Uh, if you don't, and then of course save settings, but if you don't see that on here, you can still render in cycles You'll just have to come to your render settings here, come to device and choose CPU instead of GPU compute. But if you do, if you are using your card there, the CUDA, CUDA, then you want to make sure this says GPU compute. Okay, so I think we're all set. Control S quick save, do an F12 render. And there we have our basic ship so far. Not much to look at, and you can see that some of the lighting here is screwing around with the, uh, the way that looks. But it is the very beginning, so I'm just going to choose image, save as image, go to my screenshots, and I'm going to call this Omicron 3 underscore version 3 and save as image and escape out of that view and so basically what I do is I keep at least one camera set in that same view so once I do a render each time I can see the progress of, of what the ship is looking like as we go along okay so that is the end of part three of the tutorial in the next part what we're going to be doing is what I thought we're going to be doing this time is we're going to be uh, further refining the shape of this ship and, and Pretty much cleaning up some of this geometry and if we have time I'll go to the thrusters and we'll do that as well there. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.